All right, this is the Soma Haas, and I've got something to share with you today that I incited or learned, uh, not necessarily what he was doing, but visualized and saw what he was doing. Uh, so I don't know the whole specifics of it or the dynamics of it, but it's an enhanced um, system of Breath of Fire. The enhancement I've used on two levels for wakefulness and even fasting uh, some states. Breath of Fire, it's my intuition or, excuse me, uh, realization that it is affecting uh, anti-aging, detoxification, and beauty. The system of this I learned from, believe it or not, my, uh, at the time he would have been maybe three to four years of age and he was doing this, these wacko things with his breathing. I'm not saying wacko in a negative sense, but he was doing perennium at three to five, uh, three to four years of age. He's currently now five, 2018, five years of age, going to be turning six uh, shortly, but he was doing rhythmic breathing patterns and I didn't know what he was doing. Uh, uh, it was pretty darn cool, but I used it unbeknownst to me or unannounced to myself in a, in a surrendered consciously when I was doing uh, systems of uh, sleep reduction, when I did my four day uh, sleep, uh, reduced sleep in four days, essentially first three days, first two days limited to no sleep, third day about a half hour to an hour, and the fourth day, the afternoon, uh, uh, upon the fourth day to catch up to sleep. So what it was doing was preparing me for wakefulness, uh, and that's what I was doing. And it would be a, an anti-rhythmic, rhythmic, rhythmic uh, system of breathing, uh, a nature that could be something like this, if I can share it with you. It's almost like an animalistic breathing, but I don't think, not a panting. Panting is a, <laughs> or even a, but it's a combination. So it's like a, an alteration of, of breathing, maybe to disrupt the natures of consciousness that you think you're tired. I'm not too sure where, where it starts from or where it ends, but it's a, it's a breathing pattern that it's arrhythmic, uh, rhythmic again. You're trying to hold a rhythm in an anti-rhythm, which is still a breath of fire on some degrees, but it's an enhancement because it's not a steady, it's alteration. So it'd be something like this. <laughs> the period where I went to do a too many tongue twist was the actual wrongness or uh, anti what you're trying to do is keep it going building conscious is take some skill and time and long endurance so it's a, an advanced form of detoxification and building of energy so that you are you're trying to bring kundalini up as in breath of fire you're trying to bring kundalini up so it pops the crown but you're doing it in a in a Sort of like if a jazz player was scatting or a musician jazz was uh, was uh, was doing um, improvisation. You're using the breathing patterns to alter, or you're altering the breathing patterns to try to open up wakefulness. And that's as simple as that is, and as complex as it is. I don't know. I mean, play with it, work with it, in the nature of. Uh, in uh, in the nature of uh, breath of fire using for wakefulness that appears to be the patterning or depatterning to pattern uh or wake up 